show the crack and the power by ourselves. So how how do we do? How can we control it? Then we can have better result than other other bone maker or other other competitor. So um, in, in our engineering team, we are we, we have a brainstorming to see that. So um, uh, we we finally we found that we have a core process named TPU. That's uh, another CPU independent from the, the whole system. So that means even system no boot, even CPUs, uh, CPUs no boot, whole system no boot. We can use this core process control the clock, uh, control the voltage. Sorry. Control the voltage and the clock. Use this CPU, and then before the before the the real the scanning CPU boots. So let maybe get better result. Use this patch. So we call it ASUS Pro Clock Technology. So uh, that the the important points when we use the TPU, we can control the voltage and the clock. Simultaneous. Uh, as you, you may know, if you want to overclock the system, I think you have to adjust the voltage to make the system stable. So let's say why we use the TPU to control the voltage and the clock at the same time. So what's the advantage and the benefit of the ASUS Pro Clock technology? The first one is the we extend we extend the overclocking range from 100 to. 650. So that uh, is 6.5 times the default 100 megahertz. So that's, that's the first benefit because we use uh, uh, another uh, chip called ProCard to provide the very, uh, very big range for the, for the BCLK. This is the first one. The second one is uh, one step big card boost. What's uh, one step BCL, BCLK boost? I give you an example. Uh, this this is a scope capture from our lab. This is an example for the uh, BCLK change from here to 100. Here is 100 megahertz. You can see the number here and. Uh, here is the 400. So that's a very amazing number, 400. And then just the one step from 100 to 400. If you, without this the TPU, uh, you maybe need uh, reboot at least the two to three times. From 100, maybe change to 200, 300, 400. Because we can control the voltage and the clock at the same time, and then before the CPU boot, before the system boot, so we can do that. So this is the benefit. We, we, we think it is very, very important, especially save your boot time in high big, big hard condition. So this is the second one. And the third one is uh, because we use the pro clock, so uh, compared to the PCH internal clock generator, uh, the jitter is lower. The jitter lower means the noise is lower. So the noise is lower means we can uh, make system more stable. That, that's the third uh, advantage. The, the last one is more flexible. Also, we use the pro clock and we can provide a more function. Like uh, user can control the clock amplitude or still rate. If he needs uh, um, in the uh, high PC or okay, overclocking condition, so that's a, a more flexible yeah, compared to the PCH internal clock generator because Intel don't provide uh, this function. So that's our OC design and the ASUS Pro Clock technology. Is there any questions? or liquid condition. It's not the, the extreme liquid nitrogen condition. If you use the extreme 
coding condition, I think the number should be higher. Uh, in all that, I, I, I saw maybe near five, five something like that. But uh, we, can, uh, we can demo it, uh, it here. Okay, so uh, also uh, in the air cooling or liquid cooling condition, uh, beside the BCLK, uh, the, the CPU ratio, the CPU ratio, uh, we can hit the five, use the CPU ratio to hit five gigahertz uh, just in the air or liquid cooling condition. So that's it, because we have a, a TPU and a pro card, pro B card, and our, our pro card technology. DDR4 performance. Uh, as you know, Skylake OZ170 platform is the first uh, mainstream DDR4 platform in the world. Because X99 is very high end, very uh, like server segments uh, manageable. So uh, from Z170, we think the DDR4 will uh, value, uh, will, will, will the, the price or uh, the, perform the performance will up. The price will go down very soon because uh, the mainstream platform. Okay, so here we will demo demo uh, two numbers. The first is uh, the default frequency. The default frequency uh, with the four giga. It's a default for the Intel uh, 67, uh, 6700 CPU. And then we want to OC to 5.0 gigahertz with the memory uh, 3600 and uh, just only with the uh, 1.5, 1.35 volts. And the important thing is the 4D design, not only 2D. Yeah, I will demo this. So uh, I, I will run the, the default, the default performance first. Okay, to mention, I will use the ADA 64. Okay, here's the CPU speed, core speed, 4 giga, and the memory is 2133, the default. If you see 4.2 gigahertz, that's the table, the default table. So that's the default condition. Uh, please remember these two numbers. The first one is the memory uh, with the 31,000 and the right is 32 or 33,000. Okay, so I will go to the computer and set the... So I load it all first and I have overclocking profile and I load it so as you can see the number uh, it's MP6 uh, 3600 for giga settings
jedna a půl volky. A to je ale úplně To je hrubý 14 cm, 1,52 voltu. A uklodí to. Thank you. 